сегодняшней сессии Роман Геннадьевич Новиков Transparent Scattering and Transmission Again Values. Thank you very much for possibility to speak at this conference, uh, um, and especially uh, in the day of the both day of Professor Babich. Uh, and um, in this talk, um, I will speak um, about transparent scattering and transmission agent values. And uh, um, it will be clear from the talk that this topic uh, is related to studies which were fulfilled uh, in St. Petersburg uh, in uh, different uh, periods. Hmm. Um, I cannot go down to the next page, what does it mean? Weather connection uh, um, is okay? Ну, все вроде бы хорошо. Посмотрите, может быть, вы вы должны вы должны стоять на PDF-файле. Окей, окей. Now it works. Сейчас uh, видно, до этого не было, только обложка. Um, okay, uh, so uh, in this talk, uh, we give a short review of all and recent results uh, on scatterers uh, with transmission agent value of infinite uh, multiplicity, uh, including uh, transparent scatterers. And historically, uh, the studies go back uh, to this work of Regenio Ton, Sabatier. And uh, this talk uh, is based uh, on our several publications with Professor Greenevich uh, published uh, in this uh, period, uh, where our examples include potential from the Schwartz class and uh, multipoint potential of Betty Piles type. And uh, more precisely, uh, this is the list uh, of um, our publication. Uh, The first of them is already rather old, but uh, uh, um, final publication is still a preprint. <clears throat> and uh, in this studies, we can see the Westage-Schrodinger equation uh, in dimension one, two, and three. Uh, we assume that uh, our potential decays sufficiently um, fast uh, at infinity. Um, And uh, for this equation, uh, we can see the uh, scattering solutions, Psi plus, uh, satisfying this equation, which are specified by this asymptotic uh, as uh, x goes to infinity for priori unknown function F plus. Uh, and the function F plus uh, arising in this asymptotic uh, is known as the scattering amplitude for the initial equation. So I call this for some person who are not yet very familiar with the topic. <clears throat> And uh, so we can see the uh, scattering solution, scattering amplitude. And uh, It sometimes uh, can uh, to rewrite uh, scattering amplitude F plus in, in this form. Uh, and uh, we can see the, uh, the so-called scattering operator at fixed energy, uh, which is defined uh, as the integral operator uh so this acts on test function on the unit sphere by this formula first of all it is identity operator but then there is additional uh, integral term uh, which is um, term. and um, um, potential v In the Schrodinger equation is called a transparent at fixed positive energy E, 
if uh, its scattering operator uh, uh, is identity, uh, or by other words, uh, potential V is called transparent at fixed energy E, uh, if uh, its scattering amplitude uh, is identically zero at this energy level. And historically studies on transparent potential in multi-dimensions go back uh, to the work of uh, Tulia Rege of uh, this uh, year. Um, and for the case of dimension one, in the, in the one-dimensional case, uh, the studies go back to multi potential and uh, see, for example, the review paper of Fadeev, uh, where multi potentials are also discussed. And uh, in particular, in works of uh, Reggie, Newton, and Sabatier, uh, spherically symmetric, three-dimensional spherically symmetric potential transparent at a fixed po positive energy E uh, were constructed. And this potential from this three works of Reggie, Newton, Sabatier, uh, are smooth and they decay at infinity uh, when x goes to infinity, uh, like this uh, term, not very fast. Uh, decay rate is rather slow uh, for transparent potential at fixed energy in this box. Um, in turn, uh, in dimension one, uh, and soliton potentials are uh, reflectionless for all positive energies uh, and are transparent, uh, are completely transparent uh, for n minus one energies. And this potential decay uh, at infinity exponentially. Uh, so uh, um, in dimension one, uh, transparent potentials at several energies are related uh, for example, with uh, n soliton potentials. <clears throat> and uh, when, uh, more recently, in comparison with this, uh, yes, more recently in comparison with 59, 66, uh, 62, uh, in this year, uh, uh, 99, uh, which, uh, <clears throat> We constructed spherically symmetric potentials transparent at fixed positive energy in dimension two, and this potential belong to the Schwartz class. Roma, excuse me, what does it mean constructed? Um, constructed? In, in explicit form, you mean? For, uh, for... So uh, construction is based on a linear integral equation of uh, historically going back to gilfant Levitan, so linear integral equation which is uniquely solvable under our assumptions. And, and uh, solving uh, this linear integral equation, we get uh, spherically symmetric uh, real value potential from so constructed in this sense. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. this, this includes uh, so linear integral equation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like uh, to pay attention uh, that all this work. Uh, sorry, uh, Roman, uh, no, if I, you, you mean that there exists a transformation operator? And um, in this operators, it is some which I cannot answer, but historically. Uh, this linear integral equations go back indeed uh, to Gilfant Levitan, but uh, just historically. Uh, 
just historically, yes. oh, Martin Grimm case, you know, there, there was also a kind of Linear integral equation, we use properties of Fadeev uh, exponentially. Uh, we use properties. Свойства, свойства. Uh, uh, ah, properties. Uh, 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 this equation use properties of Fadeev solutions. Uh, but uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, maybe let us discuss... Uh, precise relation to gilfant levitan separately because it will take uh, too many time. Okay? Okay, okay. Thank you. And um, I would like to pay attention that all this work of Redge, Newton, Sabatier, and Soliton potentials, our, um, this our publication with uh, Greenevich on transparent potential from Schwartz class at fixed energy and dimension two, all these works were fulfilled before more recent studies on invisibility using clocking. So maybe 10 years ago, uh, the studies were very popular. Uh, the, words like, uh, the words like cap of invisibility was used, but uh, all this was done uh, already considerably later, all these studies on invisibility. Uh, some essential historical remark. And uh, returning to constructions, uh, <clears throat> the Jenny Newton Sabatier construction is based on uh, Gilfant Levitan type equation for spherically symmetric potential at fixed energy. Here, uh, the analogy with Gilfant Levitan uh, is very clear. Uh, and uh, Rege suggested uh, to use uh, analytical extension with respect to angular momentum. Uh, very, uh, in some period, this direction was um, extremely popular. Um, our construction with Greenevich uh, also go back historically to gilfant levitan type equations. Uh, so these constructions involve the by method for complex geometric optic Fadeev's solutions of a Schrodinger equation at fixed energy. So it is uh, strongly related with studies of Fadeev, but uh, I cannot explain in this talk uh, um, all details. <clears throat> and uh, note also that inverse scattering for two-dimensional Schrodinger equation at fixed energy was essentially developed in the framework of a soliton theory in dimension two plus one, uh, and uh, this connection was discovered uh, in the works of Dubrovnik Retriever Sergei Petrovich Novikov uh, and uh, the work of uh, Monakov. So this study, this our studies um, with Greenwich are also related with uh, Vishilov Novikov equation, the analog of Hartivek de Fries equation uh, in dimension two at fixed energy. And uh, next, uh, in the title of my talk, it is also mentioned transmission um, agent values. And uh, energy level E is called transmission agent value. If uh, the scattering operator minus identity uh, has non-trivial kernel uh, in L2 on the unit sphere, and dimension of uh, this kernel of this operator uh, is called multiplicity uh, over transmission agent value. Here, uh, this uh, um, it had denotes the identity operator. <coughs> and uh, we also consider so-called interior transmission agent values for uh, potentials we supported uh, in bounded domain. And uh, energy level E is called interior transmission agent value for Schrodinger equation in bounded domain. If there exists uh, a pair of non-zero function uh, psi phi, where psi satisfy initial equation, and phi satisfies this equation with uh, uh, zero potential, and such that on the boundary, this function psi phi, uh, 
uh, he uh, consides uh, and where normal derivative uh, uh, coincides. And um, um, historically studies on transmission agent values for scatterers with compact support uh, go back to this vox of Kirsch, Colton, Mock. And uh, at present, uh, there are maybe um, at least hundreds publications uh, on uh, transmission agent values. Uh, so this literature currently is uh, uh, really huge. And for example, one can see some review articles on uh, this subject. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, for example, in USA, in Europe, uh, studies of properties of transmission agent value become uh, very popular. And um, a typical result of these studies uh, is the following, that for sufficiently regular, compactly supported isotropic scatterers, uh, the transmission agent value are uh, discrete and have finite multiplicity. Uh, <clears throat> discrete and have finite multiplicity. And uh, it is very interesting uh, to compare this result from this series of transmission agent values uh, with uh, our result uh, with Greenwich. For example, uh, this result uh, is not valid for potential from the Schwartz class in view of our of, um, aforementioned example, <clears throat> because uh, in our example, the energy of transparency uh, is uh, a transmission agent value of infinite multiplicity. Uh, moreover, the kernel of scattering operator at fixed energy minus identity uh, coincides with the full space L2 on uh, S uh, on the unit circle uh, in um, uh, dimension two. <clears throat> so uh, I suppose that the comparison of this example with Greenwich and this uh, um, uh, typical results from the series of transmission agent values um, are um, um, rather um, interesting. <clears throat> And uh, of course, one can say that uh, um, potential from Schwartz class uh, are not completely compactly supported. Uh, and um, in this connection, um, more recently, in comparison with this year, uh, more recently, uh, um, in our publication with Greenwich in the Eurasian Journal of Mathematical and, Co and Computer Applications, uh, we observed uh, that the result about discreteness and finite multiplicity of transmission agent values is not valid also uh, for some physically relevant, compactly supported uh, singular scatterers. And uh, so um, 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 now we, we will discuss this example. Roma, what is... Uh physically reasonable. You mean uh, delta potential? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. At yes. At what dimension? D dimension two? Uh, in dimension two, in dimension three. And three. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so uh, more precisely, uh, we can see that uh, for our examples, but um, uh, piles, uh, Thomas Fermi type, scatterers in dimension two and three, and we show that for this scatterers, each positive energy E is a transmission agent value in the strong sense of infinite multiplicity. So uh, no discreteness, each positive energy is transmission agent value and uh, no finite multiplicity, multiplicity is infinite. 
What, does it, what does it mean? Each uh, each energy e. Uh, is this for, for for each energy you can find potential? No, potential. no, no, no. Uh, mm, we take uh, multi point uh, potential of Betty piles type when the result is that each positive energy for this fixed potential is transmission agent value each, and moreover. Uh, this uh, energy and moreover each positive energy is transmission agent value of infinite multiplicity. Potential is fixed. Energy is arbitrary. So this potential doesn't reflect uh, reflects nothing. Uh, uh, they uh, um, do not reflect uh, many waves. They reflect some waves, but uh, nevertheless. Uh, the kernel of this operator, scattering operator minus identity, the kernel of this operator is infinite dimensional. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it, it, uh -huh. it, it is not identically zero, but uh, the kernel is infinite dimensional. Uh, thank you. It's clear. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, I suggest to compare uh, this uh, statement with typical result of this huge uh, literature. And uh, comparison, um, in my opinion, looks uh, um, very unexpected. And uh, in addition, uh, each complex energy uh, for this potential is an interior transmission agent value of inf infinite multiplicity. Uh, for domain D uh, containing support of V. And uh, before presenting uh, some further details um, about uh, uh, this uh, point potential, I would like uh, to say uh, that uh, let us um, return, for example, to this example of potential from Schwartz class. Uh, of course, this potential is not compactly supported, but uh, um, if we cut off this potential sufficiently far and will consider this operator, scattering operator, uh, for this cut uh, potential, uh, then uh, this difference will be not uh, identically zero, but will be uh, very small. Therefore, from experimental point of view, uh, it uh, will behave uh, as uh, transparent potential. And um, the same uh, holds uh, for this singular point potential, delta type potential. Of course, uh, initially this potential is singular, but we can approximate them by regular potentials compactly supported, and uh, they will have approximately the same properties uh, that singular potentials. Uh, so uh, all these uh, examples uh, can be adopted for the case of regular compactly supported scatterers, but in this case, our statements uh, in place to be uh, strict uh, will be um, approximative, and one can estimate um, um, error, uh, which can be uh, um, which can be very small. And uh, now uh, some words uh, about. Uh, This uh, point scatter file stops for me. Vision huge literature on this potential. Uh, I will not uh, discuss uh, this literature in details. Uh, and the most intuitive definition of point scatterers uh, is as follows. We consider a, a sequence 
of regular compactly supported potential sequence Vn depending on, on um, parameter uh, n such that when number n goes to infinity, diameter of Vn converge to zero and uh, at any compact interval of energy, the scattering amplitudes for potential Vn converge to uh, well-defined non-trivial scattering amplitude f plus infinity. Uh, so uh, one can look for this point scatterers uh, proceeding from this uh, um, purposes, proceeding from this uh, goal. And uh, the simplest examples will be just uh, Betty Piles Thomas Fermi scatterers. Um, in dimension one, the scatterers are just standard delta functions with some coefficients. Uh, in dimension two and three, uh, the sequence uh, Vn uh, converge to zero in the sense of distributions, but uh, the scattering amplitude converge to uh, some non-trivial functions uh, f uh, plus infinity. And uh, one can start with such definition of this uh, sequence Vn. We take some, um, uh, we, take, we take the characteristic function V1 of a unit ball. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, we can see the, the scaling, we can see the multiplication. We uh, chose in some special way this, uh, this coefficient. And as a result, uh, we get, uh, for example, point potentials of uh, uh, Betty <coughs> Thomas Fermi type. Uh, and I would like to recall that uh, this construction is not exotic at all, because uh, this potential uh, describes in some approximation interaction uh, between uh, uh, neutron uh, and uh, proton. This potential uh, describes interaction between neutron and proton. Uh, um, and um, um, scattering uh, for such potential uh, um, explains, uh, give an explanation that slow neutron uh, strongly um, interacts with a nuclear. And this principle uh, is based uh, in uh, uh, nuclear reactors, for example. This is related with um, this principle for this principle uh, Fermi uh, got Nobel Prize so uh, this construction is not exotic it is very it has uh, extremely visible applications like uh, nuclear reactors nevertheless such uh, sequence of these potentials does not converge in this in the distributional sense does not yes uh, yes uh, and the point is that in the sense of distribution this converge to zero uh, in dimension two three mm, uh, in dimension but, so but may, maybe there is uh, some sense in which it converts to something not trivial, not zero. Uh, but uh, um, it can be uh, explained. Uh, I will explain something in terms of solutions of Schrodinger equation. What does it mean? Uh, so um, let us consider the Schrodinger equation with point potentials uh, and um, function psi satisfy the stationary Schrodinger equation with a multi-point potential with some parameters uh -huh. if and only if um, um equation with zero potential is fulfilled outside of uh, the points where outside the points containing the support containing the support 
uh, in dimension one, uh, Px is continuous at this point, and its first derivatives uh, has a jump uh, given by this formula. In dimension two and three, um, um, solution uh, in the neighborhood of uh, this points y have this asymptotic expansion as x approach this points uh, and uh, there is um, relation relating the residues at this point and the next coefficient. Uh, so uh, in term of the solutions of Schrodinger equation, uh, point potentials are described by this asymptotic behavior um, in the neighborhood in the neighborhood of singular points. <clears throat> and uh, so this is the situation in dimension two and three. Uh, and uh, actually some extent uh to uh, higher dimension uh, were suggested by Pavel Kurasov. Uh, so some extensions to higher dimensions also exist. <clears throat> And uh, this um, multipoint potentials, Uh, are also very important uh, because uh, they give um, examples uh, of exactly solvable Schrodinger equation in multidimension. Uh, and in fact, uh, uh, in dimension one, uh, for many potentials, Schrodinger equation, lipman schwinger equation uh, is exp exactly solvable, is solvable by explicit formulas. But in dimension two or greater, uh, um, it seems that point potentials are the main uh, example of um, exactly solvable Schrodinger equation. For example, uh, functions psi plus scattering functions um, are given by this formula. Uh, scattering completude are given by this formula, where here, uh, here G plus is green function and coefficient uh, Q in this formulas. So function G plus <coughs> a standard uh, green function for Gilmgold's operator, for example, in dimension three, this standard classical function in dimension three. And this coefficient q uh, um, um, satisfy this uh, linear system of equation uh, where a matrix A is defined by this formula in terms of parameters alpha g of point potentials and in term of green function for Gilmgold's equation. This vector B is given in plane It is given in term of this exponents at point y g, and uh, the system for real alpha is uniquely solvable. Uh, and solving uh, and in term of this vector q, uh, we um, get scattering solution and um, scattering amplitude. And uh, in fact, uh, already this formula for scattering amplitude uh, shows that the kernel um, of scattering operator at uh, each positive energy minus identity operator, um, uh, that uh, this um, difference is integral operator uh, of um, Um, finite rank uh, of uh, the rank at most uh, small n, where n 
uh, is uh, the number in this sum. And this explains that a kernel of uh, uh, integral operator uh, defined in term of uh, f uh, <clears throat> is infinite dimensional for um, any positive energy. <clears throat> and um, I would like to say uh, that um, multipoint potential uh, can be used uh, uh, um, for studies not only scattering solutions, but uh, they can be also they can be also used for studies of uh, <clears throat> Dirichlet uh, of spectral problems uh, in bounded domain with Dirichlet Neumann or um, Robin condition. <clears throat> and uh, for example, uh, in our more recent article uh, with Greenwich, uh, we uh, show that um, if the energy E is an energy value with multiplicity M uh, for regular potential, maybe for zero potential, for example, in bounded domain with Dirichlet uh, or Neumann or Robin condition, uh, if energy E is an energy value with multiplicity M, for regular potential, maybe for zero potential, it remains an engine value with multiplicity at least m minus n after adding uh, n point scatterers. And uh, still uh, more recently, this is still in preprint, we um, also uh, have that if the energy E is an agent value with multiplicity M for some of some regular potential and uh, N point potential, then this energy is an agent value with multiplicity at least uh, M minus N for uh, regular potential. And uh, in particular, these inequalities imply uh, our result uh, about multiplicity of uh, transmission agent values. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, these inequalities can be also used for many other boundary condition. It, it is only important that boundary condition is homogeneous. And for example, uh, we can take, say, a ball, uh, and we can consider Dirichlet boundary condition for, Schrodinger, for um, Schrodinger equation in a ball. And for zero potential, uh, there will be a lot of uh, agent values of big multiplicity. And uh, if we will add a finite number of point potential, then uh, um, this additional point potential which change multiplicity of these engine values uh, in very uh, uh, controllable way. And so it includes uh, some um, very interesting uh, examples for direct and inverse spectral theory with conditions like Dirichlet condition, Neumann, Robin condition, and uh, this uh, is all. Thank you for your attention. And uh, details of the um, results I just here. And uh, thank you for your attention. Okay, let us thank uh, Professor Amanoikov for a very interesting talk. And uh, if anybody has uh, questions or comments, so you are welcome. May I ask a question? Yes. What? Roman, what, what does it mean? 
uh, spectral inequalities. What is that? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, um, very um, good uh, question. So um, let uh, us consider uh, Schrodinger equation with zero potential in bounded domain, for example, in a ball with directly boundary condition. And uh, suppose uh, that um, some energy E is an eigenvalue with multiplicity M uh, for this problem uh, with zero potential. In the case of ball, there are uh, um, typically agent values are generated. So we consider agent value with multiplicity M. Then if we um, add to this domain uh, um, N point potentials, N delta type potentials, and uh, let us consider now uh, agent values for this uh, um, N point potentials. Uh, when uh, if energy E was a gen value with multiplicity M without uh, this point potential after adding after adding this potential, this multiplicity M can become uh, um, this engine value will remain a gen value with multiplicity at least uh -huh. okay. m minus n. So a kind of perturbation result. Yes, uh, and this inequality holds uh, in both sides. So, and uh, therefore, uh, um, multipoint potential permits to construct interesting spectral examples. Great, thank you very much. Роман Геннадьевич, с вас подробный докладик у нас на семинаре про эти дела. Очень с большим удовольствием. С большим удовольствием. I, I think we have another question. Профессор Куленко. Uh, и можно я по-русски задам вопрос? Да, конечно. Вот в самом начале вы говорили о трансферных потенциалах. И вот при фиксированной энергии наша матрица единица. А есть в этом случае в асимптотике главный член пропадает. А вот то, что остается, представляет какой-то физический интерес? Вы имеете в виду, что тогда и... вот, этот, вот это вот слагаемое исчезнет, так? Да, единица на... исчезла. Да, да. А вот вот... состоит в том, что... Следующий член асимптотики. Тоже все члены асимптотики исчезают. И здесь просто останется о большое их в степени бесконечности. То есть э, а, исчезает то, не только исчезает, исчезает не только первый член, исчезают все остальные тоже. Это вот э, тоже важное наблюдение. Но в коротком докладе трудно э, все осветить, как э, нужно, как требовалось бы. То есть прозрачность здесь полноценная такая. Полноценная, абсолютная. Сейчас, а, а тогда а в, в мультипоинт примерах, как может быть быстрее степени и не ноль? Э, э, минуточку. Мы не говорим, что амплитуда рассеяния будет равна нулю для многоточных потенциалов. А, а, а вы хотите сказать, что для многоточных вот, э, прозрачности не добиться, да? А, только частичной. А, а, нет, ну, частично это для как Для каких-то направлений. Ну вот, ну, да. то есть э, можно брать сколь угодно много э, линейно независимых функций U на единичной сфере, таких, что вот... Э, оператор рассеяния на, на них будет действовать как единичные. Да, а это, это, это... Я не... Хорошо. А, а еще, кстати, по поводу мультипоид. Вроде, казалось бы, естественно предположить, что дискретность там точно будет. Ну, э, вот э, так получилось к нашему собственному удивлению, что исчезла дискретность. Э, вот, и что... 
в полном контрасте вот с этим результатом, который публикуется в десятках, если не в сотнях статьях. Вот, что если взять многоточечные потенциалы, то никакой дискретности. Любая положительная энергия и является собственным значением прозрачности, бесконечной кратности. А, нет, нет, я имею в виду... Виктор Сергеевич, когда, поймите, я смотрю, поймите Алексея Федоровича. Если Витя, okay. тормозите Алексея Федоровича. Yes, yes, maybe we can postpone all these yeah. questions to more detailed talk at our seminar. Можно еще маленький вопрос? Yes, uh -huh. а? Уже все? Окей, okay, very small question. Yes, very... Very small. Uh, Роман, тоже по-русски быстрее будет. Uh, скажите, пожалуйста, то есть вот вырожденность, то, что у вас единица минус s конечномерна, это, это как-то соответствует тому, что соответствующее уравнение, ну, скажем, аналоги Хванда оно, Марченко, оно будет вырождено. Ну, дело в том, что Гельфанда, Левитана, Марченко в этом случае мы не особо и рассматривали, как-то необходимости не было. Но, да. естественно, в этом случае там много будет упрощений. Многие операторы станут конечномерными. Вот это, что я могу сказать мгновенно. Ясно. Ну и последний вопрос. А вот ну, любое собственное значение, какое у нас здесь имеет, так сказать, смысл вот такой физический? Что, вот, что? Значит, ну, то, что у вас было. Сейчас еще раз повторите вопрос. Я, я не до конца его понял. На, наличие нулевого собственного значения. На а, а, вот а, здесь. Но, э, дело в том, что в, в этом докладе мы сфокусировались на других вопросах. Да. То есть в этом докладе нулевое собственное значение мы даже и не рассматриваем. Просто эти многоточные потенциалы, они имеют столько замечательных свойств, что нет, ясно, да. дают примеры на очень многие случаи, в том числе и для собственных значений нулевой энергии. Вот С помощью этих многоточных потенциалов можно столько нащупать правильных формулировок, гипотез, вот все такое, проверить, что верно, что неверно. Так что вот рекламирую свойства этих потенциалов. Ну, тут существенно у вас, кстати, что область компакт, вся мега в это компакт, базовая. Ну, О. да, в этих потенциалах, да. Окей. Okay. Uh, Хорошо, спасибо. Я бы предложил все эти вопросы, может быть, кофе или ланч So we need to stick to our schedule, and I, I thank 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 you again, uh, Roman Gennadyevich, for interesting talk, and. Um...